is, is Is This Normal? brought to you by the Center for Positive Sexuality and Exquisite Restraint Courses. I'm Emily Pryor, your host. My co-host Simone is not available this evening. She has her hand stuck up in a puppet's ass and doing some sewing work, apparently. That's what she emailed me earlier today, so that's what she's doing. And our guest this evening is the lovely, beautiful, purple-haired Caroline Pierce. And so you guys will get to talk to her and ask her some questions and stuff. And she can weigh in on whatever it is I'm talking about up until that point if she likes. If she has an opinion. Or she could just sit there and look pretty and you can ignore what I'm saying. Whatever you want. Really don't care. Um, <laughs> I get paid the same either way. Whether you pay attention to me or not. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> and that's the show we're going to have time we get together will be September 23rd, and our guest then is going to be the amazing John Woods, uh, and Ooh. he's going to, he's now promoting, he has a new DVD out, The Crooked Claw Chronicles, um, which is a wonderful life history of the Crooked Claw. Oh. It's hysterical. Got to see the premiere of it last week. Uh, he and Norlai showed it to a bunch of us in a private viewing, and Ooh. it was just hysterical, absolutely hysterical, and there are classic bondage models in there mm. that have not been which. seen for ages. Well, um, of course they haven't been seen, they're tied up someplace. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and apparently they've all been tied up in John Wood's closet for all this time. Oh, I So you're going to see closet. Kelsey Chambers, oh. you're going to see Catherine Beaumont, you're going to see nice. footage from... Are you in there? I'm not in there, I never got tied up on the girl's oh. I never got captured by him, so I guess not. Oh, you managed away. to get away. To um, tell the tale. Did yeah, I, I got to tell the tale. Uh, but it's it's a great film. It's an absolute great film. Um, so hopefully he's going to give us a few little clips that we can drop into the show, too. So that's what I'll that's, so that's true. That that be, maybe he'll tie up. We'll have to <laughs> see. And then I'll finally get tied up with a group. Oh, okay, yeah. I've been tied up by John Woods. I've just never been tied up with a group. They're the same guy? <laughs> I did say that. Um, also, what we're trying this month with the center is uh, we do our live online webinar classes through creativesexuality.org. And what we're trying to do this month is that we're going to be doing a different class every Thursday. And we're doing them at three different time times to hit different time zones. So it's going to be at 1 p.m., 5 p.m., and 7 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday. Same class for each time, so depending on what one works best for you in your time zone, pick that one. Um, and next week on the 15th, we're going to be teaching female sexuality the basics. Uh, the week after that, on the 22nd, it's actually going to be a free Q&A at those times, one, five, and seven. So it's going to be a free question and answer period for an hour with uh, a licensed, certified sex educator, me. I actually have, you know, my official degree and all that shit now. <laughs> so um, you, you can come and ask questions, and it's all free. And then on the 29th, we are debuting a new class, which is going to be Getting the Sex You Want. Oh. So we're going to be talking about negotiating, talking about your boundaries, your limits, how to communicate with your partner or partners. This is great for people who are just starting a new relationship and aren't sure how to broach the topic of sex and what kind of sex you want, or for people who have been in a relationship for a long time and want to bring up something new, bring something new into the relationship. It's great if you're just vanilla and don't feel comfortable talking about sex and using language about body parts and things and communicating what you want. And it's great for people who are kinky or want to bring in something kinky or a semi or whatever. And so that's what the class is going to be. So that's going to be available on the 29th. Um, also, uh, in Encino, California, uh, which is not that far from us, uh, there are now therapy groups that are forming with marriage and family therapist Andrew Abrams, and he's putting together therapy groups that are geared towards SM, kink, poly, openly sexual people. So there'll be groups for 
female subs, male subs, female dom, male doms, poly, couples, triads, whatever, nice. individuals, uh, cross-dressers, transgender, etc., etc., etc. So really, the groups are going to be formed based on who is who shows up and who's there. And going to try to break them along lines of how they identify sexually um, within their sort of kink orientation and by gender so that women can all talk together or men can all talk together so that people aren't feeling vulnerable and like it's they have to be on for a possible dating scenario. So um, yeah, and that's going to be in Encino. There, uh, there's going to be an open house on September 19th at 6.30 in the evening at uh, his office. And you can RSVP to me for details, and I will send you the details and send you the address and everything if you're interested in his phone number and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can write to me, emily at positivesexuality.org, and I will give you all the details on the therapy groups. And I'm actually going to be co-facilitating them as the sex educator. He's the therapist, I'm the educator. And I'm also, because I'm in some of these groups, probably SM and stuff, um, I'm actually going to sort of be working as an interpreter for the therapist. Because although he's very comfortable with these groups and people, he doesn't, he's not an insider. He doesn't know right. the language, protocol, and, protocol and, and, slang and that kind of stuff. So I'm actually going to be sort of acting as an interpreter in that way. That'd be funny. That looks really amazing. Yeah, and it's a sliding scale, so um, he's, he, the, the fees will be based on what you can afford, um, and it's a, extremely reasonable. Right. So I think the lowest price is probably like $25 for a session, which is <laughs> extremely reasonable for a therapy session. So, Especially that I'd be able to find an environment where you can talk openly about things like that, because that's such a huge problem for so many people. You can't Absolutely. walk into a vanilla office and say, Okay, so <laughs> these bruises that you see aren't actually because of uh, domestic violence. It's because I had a really good night last night. So let's just bypass that and get to the issues that I have. Right, like that. exactly. And and that this is going to be a group environment where you know everybody there already knows that that's okay too. Um, and I think his idea is to also, if possible, to mix newcomers to these spaces and people who have been doing this for a while um, because very often newcomers are questioning their identity, they're questioning their orientation, safety, all of this kind of thing and it might be good for them to be paired with or, or in a group with others who have been doing it for a while and can actually see, look, you can come out on the other side and you're fine and alive. And, and, um, and it doesn't mean you don't have issues, but if, and, and Please understand that his idea is not to be doing therapy to fix the SM or fix your non-monogamy. It's a matter of have an open venue where you can speak freely about right. things that yeah yeah where you That's can speak freely. So I think it'll be really good, and I hope people take advantage of it. I think yeah. that'd be great. Um, next weekend, September sixteenth through eighteenth, is behind closed doors in Arizona. Uh, and myself and Tim Woodman are going to be there. We're actually guests of the event for the weekend, which will be fun. We can do it. Behind closed doors. Uh -huh. Behind closed doors. And we're going to be doing a rape role play demonstration. Apparently, Sunday morning at 9 30. Yeah, that's not the best part. It's not the best <laughs> idea. Oh. I'm not really sure I'm up for. <laughs> race at 9.30 a.m. But we could do sleepy hey, stuff. Hey. That's all right. Yeah, you can, you can catch me when I'm asleep and do pretend stuff. For <laughs> yeah, you won't have to pretend. I'll be out. It's, it's 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> oh, under the cover of the bright, glaring morning sun. <laughs> right. Yeah. The burglar sneaks into your bedroom. Yeah, we're, we're leaving the 115 degree weather of sunny Los Angeles for God knows what 500 degree weather it is in Arizona these these days, so hopefully this hotel is very well air conditioned, or else we're gonna burn to crisp. <laughs> Not heat person. Also, uh, Tim Woodman is starting up his rig like a villain rope class with Threshold again. Um, starting oh, I didn't write down the date. Twenty fifth. On twenty fifth, September twenty fifth. Uh, it's gonna be the 
fourth Sunday of every month, 4 to 6 p.m. at Threshold Space. Go to threshold.org or go on FetLife to check for the event. Um, and this is the, going to be the first of a six-part course over the next six months. And I think if you should, if you attend four, at least four out of the six classes, you you get to be extra evil when you receive your diploma, and and you get a free card pass, I think, from Threshold. So oh, you do. nice, all of that. Um, the last time we did the class, uh, Tim did an amazing job, just an absolutely Thank amazing you. job. Thank you. Uh, and the final for the class, did you get tested? They get tested, and it's all hands-on. They're doing stuff. They're not just watching somebody do things. They are, it's a hands-on, serious hands-on. So it's great if you have a partner. If you don't have a partner, please be willing to work with someone else who doesn't have a partner, regardless of, of sex, gender, orientation, just so you can get, get mm -hmm. you know, because it's not enough to just watch somebody do bondage. You have to no. do it. You have to do it uh, and have it done to you so you know what it's like. Um, and their final exam, we actually flew four people. We had four people suspended all at the same time. All new rigors, all new people to being suspended. And not all of them very light women. And not all of them very light people. So well, yes. as, as and done right can be done regardless exactly. of Exactly. And several of the women size. said that they had been told that they would never be suspended because of their weight. And we told them that it has nothing to do with your weight. It has to do with the skill of the rigor and the proper equipment available. That's awesome. And they did it, and they had a great time. And as far as I, absolutely no one got injured during the entire six courses at any time from the course. They might have been injured at other times. <laughs> um, <laughs> but not during the course. Uh, and we had a great time, and then we had some guests. Tim brought in some guests. He had Brookhaven, and who was your other guest that came in? I forget the name. Isabel Wren. And Isabel Wren. Oh, cool. Each came in. Um, so we hope to have bring in some guests this round as well. So that was great. You know, Brookhaven was there for for breast bondage. Oh yes. If you ever do, she was a good. Because she's got ooh, ass bondage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Center for Positive Sexuality, mm -hmm. uh, now that it's the fall, we are starting up to do our presentations at universities again. Ooh, fantastic. We already have six or eight presentations scheduled now. Busy. From now Busy. through Busy. December. Is it here? We are double and triple booked on a couple of days. So, we're going to be a little busy. Congratulations <laughs> on the success of the center. <laughs> I love that. We've got one day where we are trip. We've got three happening in a day. And I hope we've they're got near each other. And <laughs> <laughs> two are in the same classroom right after another, which okay, is great. Course. The other one is across town, so we're going to be, we got a little traveling to do. Um, but there's some time in between. And we have another one where we actually have two that are scheduled in two different classrooms, same campus, two different classrooms, two different classes at the exact same time. So I'm going to be lecturing in one place, and we're going to send people over to the other place. Yeah. But it's great. I love it. We've already, and we've had two new professors contact us this semester that we've not worked with before. Um, so it's really, really wonderful. I love that. I love that we're getting some more things. And we had a new presentation requested of us this, this time. Someone contacted us wanting a sexual diversity panel. Oh. They didn't want just SM. They didn't want just poly. They wanted a sexual diversity panel and said as, as diverse as you can get in a panel of, you know, five to eight people, um, I want a diversity panel. So, so far, uh, we've got quite a lineup going. Um, they asked that I'm going to be there, which, which I'm happy to do, and I'm going to be there. We also have Adrienne Akers, who is our Disabilities and Sex. Oh, okay. presenter. So she's going to be there in her wheelchair, representing her, her wonderfully beautiful disabled self, as well as a bisexual woman. Um, we're going to have Carly, who was on our LGBT youth I show her. that we did. Uh, a little queer girl. She's so cute. So she's going to be there. Um, we now have a transgender who's going to be on. 
Um, and she's working on getting us a, a, a new young gay guy to be on there as well. Um, we've got a couple others. So it's going to be an interesting, that'll be a great group. It's going to be interesting. And, and the, you know, the professor, like, founder, he, he, he was recommended to us from another professor, which is always great. Yeah. When, when somebody recommends us and then found our website and everything and uh, just sent me this wonderful email saying, oh, this is so great and it's so wonderful that you're doing this and please, please, please can you do this. What type of class is it you're presenting to? Or is it just a presentation unto itself? Uh, the class is, uh, what is it? It's like Marriage and Family Systems. Okay. Is the title of the class. And uh, it's an undergraduate class. And the professor was saying that in the email that um, he usually teaches one section on sexuality in this whole course. <laughs> and, and gets very dismayed that students have a very narrow idea of what oh. is okay sexuality, especially when you're talking about marriage and family. Right. And he, he wants to blow the doors off of that, apparently. So. <laughs> Go him! That's oh, awesome! So good. this is going to be amazing. This is really going to be amazing. I'm, I'm, this is going to blow their little minds. We love doing uh, We do. We do. We like that. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So I'll have to see how that goes. So, yeah. So we're, so we're doing stuff. So, um, yeah, and, and, you know, if you work with a university or college, um, you know, if you're taking a class and want us to come in or something, contact us. Let us know because we, we love to do this stuff. There is a question in the chat room. Ah, question. Question is, I have a foot fetish. Oh. And I've had some experience with uh, toe to rectal play. Uh huh. The toes or whole foot in the bum. Mm -hmm. Are there health risks or other things to be aware of with this kind of play? The only things that I know of, off the top of my head, with doing it's called footing as opposed to fisting. Footing, putting the foot in the rectum. I suppose you could also do like a vagina. Um, I would be more concerned about things like staph or MRSA, you know, skin contact kind of things. Um, I mean, I suppose if the person is HIV positive or something and you have a cut on your foot or something, that, that, that there's that possibility, but geez. More worried about toenails. Like, yeah, I'd be cut. more worried about toenails cutting the rectum and that kind of thing. Right. So I would make sure that whoever is whoever is doing latex the foot stocking. You could, yeah, you could buy latex <laughs> and stockings. And use it as, as a barrier. Use it like a condom. Um, and make sure they're getting really good pedicures. Because I know our wonderful Madame Wong, George Wong, who, who did fit it, footing and fisting stuff all the time, said that really his best advice is, also, is to get really good pedicures and manicures done to make sure that you don't have sharp edges, that you're not, because that tissue is really, really sensitive. He, yeah. would, he would also say, always go very slow. Go very slow. Don't right. force Start anything. Slow, don't force anything. <clears throat> and you don't have the motor skill. Most people don't have the fine motor skills of their feet that right. you would with your hands. So yeah, I, when I do foot jobs or any type of foot anything, I'm usually holding my foot so I can, you know, control what I'm doing. If I'm doing a foot job, I'm using my hands too. Because yeah, I just your feet. <laughs> yeah, I would just think that would be. So that's that's the advice. Yeah. Excellent. For that. Thank you.